All right. So uh, we have Pisces, Sun, Moon, Iron as well rising. A monthly tarot reading February 2020 on our hands here. And uh, in case any of you guys is interested in a personal reading with me, you can check out the description down below in this video. And uh, there you're going to find a, a link to my website. So this is going to be a seven card spread. Um, and just let me start drawing the cards here. Now, the first one that we do have for you, Pisces, is going to be the Tree of Swords. This is the very topic of the month itself. And the energies which are supporting and feeding the topic here, we do have the Lover's card. Third one, it is the challenges that you will have to face throughout the month. That is going to be the, the um, Wheel of Fortune. Afterwards, it is the gifts and the blessings that you can enjoy throughout the month. That is going to be the Nine of uh, Cups. Followed by the fifth one, which is how people are going to see you. What kind of impression, what kind of a... Uh, uh, presence you are going to incorporate among the people around you with your friends and family co-workers etc etc that will be the five of cups then the uh fifth the sixth card here is going to be actually this is an eight card spread i'm sorry so the um sixth card here it is what is going to uh, drastically improve your circumstances throughout the month uh, we do have the knight of wands Followed by the next one, which is what is going to uh, drastically diminish your circumstances, the wellness of your circumstances throughout the month. We do have the Three of Cups. And the last one, which is the guidance that uh, Taro is offering to you, Pisces, we have the Three of Wands. Okay, this is uh, quite complex. I may need a, a few seconds here, guys, especially with the, tr with the first three uh, cards. Um, so what, what we do have on our hands here, it is a rather quite tense uh, month with a lot of decision makings involved, or uh, it's more like a um, cultivating the decisions that you will have to make. Now that comes from the first two cards. So the decision making are the, uh, the very core of the energies here. We do have the lover's card and as an energy, uh, this energy forces you to make some quite of an important or decisions of a uh, great importance there. And with the tree of swords as the topic itself, it does point that you are going to feel like you are with the back against the wall to make those decisions happen. However, what is not going to be of your liking here, it is that neither of those decisions are either right or wrong. And whatever decision you make or whatever action you take here throughout the month, it's definitely going to have a negative impact to a certain people or a situation and positive impact on other class or kind of like a cluster of people and situation as well. The problem and another problem it is that those um, decision and action making here is to be a perpetual one. So you take one after another and one after another. And uh, because the tree of swords points that you are, I don't know the English word about that. It's, it's like you are feeling that, you know, adjudicating something it's like you are taking the full responsibility of it. Uh, we do have in our language a word for it. Uh, but let's say you're going to feel uh, guilty that neither of those actions or decision has actually right or wrong move and that someone has to pay the price for it in a negative way. OK. Um, just to give you a quick example of it, so I make my point across much more, much more clearer. Say you do have two people that are fighting for your heart and you like both of them, okay, and they both are very suitable, and you know that if you choose one or the other, that will crush the heart of one or the other, but you can't be with two people simultaneously, so you have to decide in favor of one of them. So there you go, the situation where you have no right or wrong decision. Uh, so say two people are depending on you, and you can go only with one of them, and it's the same thing, and you, uh, and you are going to kind of like have the tendency to blame yourself for it. And this is exactly what the Tree of Swords represents here. It is like 
a tense moment where you're feeling under pressure to make the, the decision or the action to adjudicate in favor of where everybody is happy while well, that is quite impossible. But not at least with those uh, two cards at the very prime of the reading. So um, you have to stop thinking that way with the Tree of Swords. Now, Tree of Swords, yeah, it kind of points to an emotional distress and it's like swords are, pierce, are piercing through one's heart. Why? It is because the swords this represents thoughts, okay? And these thoughts are piercing through your heart. In order to stop that peers happening, it is to stop thinking that way, negative, uh, negative way. So whatever negative thoughts you have, you have to just, uh, how can I say it, um, banish them from your mind, stop them twisting and tangling through it, because otherwise you're going to feel lost. And with the lovers in the energy position, it's making no decision whatsoever. It's, it's the last thing you want to do, because that way you're going to betray the both people, if we're following the example I gave you here, okay, they both are going to be with their heart crushed. So it's, it's best to just take decision for one of them. But um, there is another flavor here with those two cards as well. Uh, and that these two cards are pointing that your uh, circumstances are going to improve. I mean, overall circumstances in regards to your life in general. And you may feel guilty of it because you will become in a better position than someone else that you want to see them in a better position than you are, okay? So you are, for example, flourishing while your brother or sister is deteriorating and you may feel bad for it, okay? But at the end of the day, with the lovers on the energy position, you, you deserved it. Okay, so this is the heavy energy of the month for you, Pisces, that you may feel uh, guilty for something that you are not guilty at all. Okay, and bad about things that there is no way around them. Now, the next one, it is the challenges uh, that you will have to overcome. Now, that is uh, the Wheel of Fortune. So, that situation that you're going to find yourself in here, uh, that you will have a tough time deciding in which favor to go in, uh, may obstruct you of having opportunities moving forward into the future because the um, Wheel of Fortune here plays the role of that your life is set on how to until now in that specific situation and now can be set into stir back again. and. That is the challenge itself, to stir your life. How you are going to stir your life? By choosing one of the two people. How you are going to stir your life? By choosing one of the two jobs, all right? Once again, there is no right or wrong decision here. You just have to make up your mind based on your personal preferences. So, well, goddamn, it's, it's just... In this particular reading, now that I figured, it's something that I like to say a lot. It fits perfectly. Okay, in this month of February, you will neglect yourself, try to satisfy everybody else, but that is impossible. So instead of trying to satisfy everybody else, you have to do something to satisfy yourself. And that is going to be your challenge, okay? To stop thinking for the wellness of all and start thinking for your personal wellness and the wellness that you can incorporate through your personal wellness to the rest of the world. Then we go to the um, blessings and gifts that you can enjoy here, Pisces. That is going to be the Nine of Cups. So with the Nine of Cups, uh, there are going to be a good progression throughout the month. It's just given to you because the Nine of Cups, it's like the fortune itself, the universe is holding your hand, laying with full fists full the grace of creation, if you will. But that is just the initial momentum with the Nine of Cups. So you can uh, start feeling as, as soon as you make your make up your mind about whom you're going to proceed with, you know, relationship-wise or job-wise or, or project-wise and so on and so forth, you're going to start seeing progress. And that will create a um, feeling of satisfaction, of wellness of life, of wish fulfillment, if you will, as well. But the thing with the Nine of Cups, it is that that thing, it is not granted yet. It is not secured well enough, okay? So you have to further do things and take measures 
to secure it as such. So from a short-term happiness and short-term succession, if you will, to transform into a long-lasting one with the nine of cups so you once again here you just throughout this month pisces you just have to go with with what you want it is what those cards are pointing even that this is going to you know i cannot say hurt some people let's say disappoint some other people or disappoint some other situations as well but once again at the end of the day no matter how much you try to satisfy everybody around you you will never be able to so it's time to satisfy yourself. Uh, next, we go to uh, how people are going to see you, what kind of impression that you are going to incorporate um, among those that you are associating with throughout the month. That was the um, Five of Cups. So, first of all, people are going to see you really regretful of that you will have to make that kind of a tough call here, okay? And at the end of the day, you will have to simply put your back towards certain people or situations and toward others. So people are going to see that you tried really hard to, um, to have everybody happy but at the end of the day the people also will understand that that was impossible here and therefore they're not going to blame you for anything additionally to that people are going to see you very optimistic as well once a, once you make up your mind of course that this loss that you may be suffering through the decision non taken that those that are suffering for the decision that you have taken as well it is just a partial loss it is something that can be regained maybe with someone else maybe with something else as well but well, the point is here is the people are going to see that you have done the right the right thing here the most uh, efficient Thing, the most efficient decision and uh, for the rest that cannot be take benefit from it uh, the best is yet to come if I may say it that way or kind of like the world is it's full with opportunities and it's it's rest assured that they are gonna find theirs as well now with the five of cups whatever you decide in favor of throughout the months through the perpetual decisions that you will have to make here uh, you need to stick up with it okay so people are gonna see you quite determined to see your situations through your projects through your your job through as well okay your relationships tr through also so uh, that being said uh, you are going to present yourself quite reliable now the next one it is of um uh what is going to improve your situation big time in life and we do have the knight of wands uh, that is related to the challenges guys with uh, the wheel of fortune and the knight of wands it's a very enthusiastic and enterprising person young is young in spirit and that person is just as you are they are ready to see things through or they are determined to see things through through and i do believe that that will lead to a, an awesome cooperation in between the two if that's a relationship it's great it is because it doesn't look like that whatever you do or whatever they do is going to repose the other to such an extent that is going to go beyond repair but just on the contrary there will be a room for forgiveness there will be a room as well to try new things is going to be just a versatile and how can i say it um quite exciting and exhilarating type of relationship and that could be a person as well who can lend you a helping hand with your endeavors also so this is someone that it is always ready to experiment it is always ready to hear you out no matter how ridiculous or how childish your idea or it's just your proposition is and instead it is willing to try it out around and it is not judgmental at all Next one, it is what is going to hurt uh, your situation, uh, your uh, circumstances, and in general is going to deteriorate the wellness of your life. We do have the Three of Cups, quite peculiar card here. Um, a Three of Cups to me only stands in that particular position, is of the dissatisfaction of the very first 
progression or the very initial results of your progression either career-wise or either relationship-wise and it's kind of understandable you know because the lover's card it kind of um, appears in this reading as something that that it is not very common for the card itself it appears as a sacrifice all right you sacrifice one person to be with the other you sacrifice one job to be with the other and as you sacrifice something to make something out of something else you are expecting that things are gonna go on flawlessly that will not be the case with the three of cups because there will be much more to do in it than your initial anticipation here and therefore, you should not judge the uh, the evening by the morning when it comes to this card. Just because at the very start, you are now meeting your expectations with the initial results of your actions and of your performance. That doesn't mean that this relationship or a job or a project cannot end up very beneficial and kind of lucrative, if you will, or a happy. Another thing that could deteriorate your situation if you start bragging about your results and bragging about your ideas as well because with this card in that negative position your idea may be stolen okay and uh, the last thing that the three of cups here points is feel for the pain for those that you have to forlorn along the way with the lover's card and the three of swords once again uh, you have did the best you could and just the situation did not allow everybody to be happy So you did something for your own happiness just as everybody else would have done and you should not feel bad about it It's just as simple as that here and the last one it is the guidance that Taro is offering to you We do have the three of wands so Pisces this month is the month where you laying a foundations guys this month it is the month where you unfold and flourish uh, based on uh, your uh, relationships based on your career especially career here and uh, the guidance wise it uh, tells us a few things with the three of wands it tells us that whatever expectations you do have maybe not initially but going along the way throughout the month you definitely can meet those expectations exactly the way you are imagining them to be and as well you are going to establish very solid patterns in your life in general career or relationship wise both of them as well but that should not stop here as a guidance the three of wands urges you to challenge yourself with even bigger goals with even greater challenges if you will so it's kind of like a not stopping or uh, well it's difficult to explain it but let's say that whatever anticipation you had as an end goal you are severely undermining your limits and you just have to expand this expectations or uh, this expectation or expand that goal so you can reach the very end capabilities of your limits at the end of the day or simply said you have no idea how much you can grow once you make up your mind whom to be with what job to do what project you want to perform at and who is to be your friend and rest assured those who are not meant to be around you they are going to find their place among the sun or beneath the sun so that being said pisces this was your monthly tarot reading february uh 2020 hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it guys and uh we're going to see each other next time. Until then, bye.